dance with me today. Hallelujah. Do you have a witness tonight? We are going to dance. If you're watching us online, also just go crazy in the presence of God and dance. Hallelujah. We go. Come on, let me see. Just look at them. Come on, come on. Hey. Come on, somebody give him the best of your dances. Come on, we go. Let me see you, Daniel. Just look at me. Come on, somebody. Oh, 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 Most 
high God. You are the most high God. You are you are you are the most high God. You are you are you are the most high God. You are the most high God. You are you are you are worship you God just pour out your heart to God somebody just pour out your heart to God le kala la de 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 bosha ya she baba bala gada de 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 bosha she de 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 boko sabaya my god you are the most high in my life you are the most high in my family you are the most high in my business you are the most high in this ministry Oh we submit to no any other god except you. We submit to no president or god except you. We do not submit to any authority except you God because from you our hope comes. Just speak words. Just speak words of adoration. Just speak words of adoration. Li kale pradosa. She tele pragadabaya. I katala la 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 baya. Reke baladosa. She le 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 boyaka. Li kele pradosa. My God, you're wonderful. We worship you most high. We worship you most high. Adonai, we give you glory. Adonai, we give you glory because you're touching us, oh God. Yebosa, shilele boyaka, reke telebaya. No man can heal sicknesses like you do. No man can touch us like you do. Oh God, oh God, Lord of our lives, Lord of our families, we have come to encounter you, God. Oh Sabaya, we have come, Lord, to touch you. We have come, Lord, to see you. We have come, Lord, to have an encounter with you. My God, you're touching us. We believe. We believe that you're touching us, so God. Hey, Kabayada. My God, we are hungry and thirsty for you today. We are hungry and thirsty for you today. My God, we are hungry and thirsty for you today. Oh God, listen to our worship as it arises unto you as an aroma, oh God. My God, receive my worship. Receive my worship. Receive my worship. Let me your Christ somebody. Don't mind about your neighbor. Don't mind about the person you came with. There is a God of the creator of heaven and the earth. And he's already in this place. Come on. Just yearn to be filled by him. Just yearn to have an encounter. Oh, Sabala Gadaya. Reke Baladosa. I am thirsty, Lord. As a deep pants for water, Lord. So does my heart thirst for you. Just lift up your hands, everybody, wherever you are. Lift up your hands. The presence of the Almighty is in this place so mightly. His anointing is touching us so mightly. He's realigning our destinies. Abayada. In such moments, the Holy Ghost touches us. In such moments, He touches us. In such moments, He cleanses us. In such moments, oh, Sabayada, He proves Himself strong and mighty. We worship you, God. We are thirst for you, God. We are thirst for you, God. Uh. We are thirst for you, God. We are thirst for you, God. Come and touch us, oh God. Hey. Come and touch us, oh God. Oh God.
pouring down. I'm desperate for you. Oh, Sabalara de Bosha. And I, I'm lost without you. Oh, Sabala de Shila. Do I have a hungry soul in this place? And I, I'm desperate for you, God. Hey, oh, Sabala de. I wanna touch you, God. And I, I'm lost without you. You, Jesus, we thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, loving Father. Thank you, Jesus, again. Thank you, Jesus, again. Thank you, Jesus, again. Thank you, Jesus, again. Thank you for what you're doing right now, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm lost without your God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm lost without your Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, thank you for coming to Torch 022. Uh, that, is zero, that, that is Torch 22. Uh, those ones who are here right now, clap for yourselves. And clap mighty hands to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. I think you're feeling at home right now. Uh, I'm by the names of Prophet Enoch Nyago. Uh, I welcome you to Torch Fellowship. So we are always here on Tuesday, uh, 4 p.m. Here. We are always here. Uh, and on Wednesday, we have other programs. Uh, evangelism. We always we always have evangelism, and that is done on. Uh, uh, it is done at uh, three p.m. and it is always communicated. And the place where we are, we have to go for evangelism is always communicated. So those ones who would, uh, join us, you're most welcome. Uh, and on Thursday, uh, we shall always be having. Uh, minister's altar here. That is 4 p.m. And you're all welcome. And bring more people. Let me see somebody who will bring people the coming Tuesday. You will come with somebody. The coming Tuesday, you come back. You will come with someone. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, and on Friday, we always have the faith word. Uh, we have it on Facebook, on our page that is touching us, uh, and on Force TV. So, endeavor to miss. It is always at 5 p.m. So, we welcome you as to be watching that wonderful Faith Word program. And on Saturday, we always have uh, the, th the, uh, the Thousand Soul Winners training and 
it is marvelous and it, 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 it makes us good. So it is always at 10 a.m. So and it is always communicated. So you're all welcome. And it shall be, we, uh, we shall be grateful when we see you. And uh, we shall be grateful when you bring more people to church. You know, it is always good, it is always good to be to church, not so. When you're always at church, it is, it is the most, it is the most place where you can feel at home. So, whenever we are at church, we feel at home. So, uh, and by the way, you have to follow our page, that is, you have to visit it on Facebook, touching at uh, ministries, and we have our website, it is www touching at uh, 560.org. So you always have to visit us there. So uh, we also have these cards. Uh, these are the testimony cards. So if you feel like you have a testimony, and you have a testimony that God, uh, you, you have something that God has done for you, uh, you know, we can always record it, and we shall be... Uh, we shall be bringing it down. And we have this. So whoever who has got this, uh, this is uh, this is our envelope. So you can put money in there so that you bless the ministry. And by the way, when you bless the ministry, whenever the ministry grows, you also grow. You know, you, you, you always grow with the ministry. You, you know, as the ministry is growing, you also grow with the ministry. You get it. Let me see somebody who wants to grow with the ministry. Let me see somebody who wants to grow with the ministry. Hallelujah. You know, it is so wonderful that uh, because you people, you see this, it is international. That means when you grow with an international ministry, you're going to be always international. You know, countries are going to be calling on to you. Oh, we want you. We want you, Simon. We want you, Silas. So, grow with the ministry. And God is going to bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us stand up. Let us all stand up. As you all come, a great man of God. Let us all stand up as we all come, a great man of God, who, who is anointed and blessed. Father, we bless you. Just lift up your hands to the Lord. Everybody, if you, you know in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands and worship him. Father, we thank you for this great opportunity. We thank you for your presence. Come and have your way. We bless you, Jesus. Come on, speak words of worship. Just worship the Lord in other words. Worship the Lord in other tongues. We praise you, God. We worship you, Master. We worship you, Master. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you, God. Oh, we worship you. We give you praise. Oh, we worship you. Our world is. Our world is. Yes, our world is Biona Bevona Man. Our world is Our world is Our world is Biona Bevona Man. Our world is just lift up your hands and worship him. When Jagalo Kubera Nangi, your name, oh, holy Mukama, 
Wenjagalo kubera nange Tewari walala ya de Yona Samaru washepe mwoli mukama Wetu saze wo kubera Wenjagalo kubera nange Yona Woli woli ndwa desi wona Wenjagalo kubera nange Wenjagala ikabaka Yona Woli woli ndwa desi wona Wenjagalo kubera nange Wenjagalo kusiza nange my God, ah, holy, little nangi wenzi se, gani no buka kafu, obula mu shuade, holy ndwa desi wona, holy ebi tu bi terera. Woli mukama Piona bifunama Awo woli mukama Just lift up your voice and worship him Wenjagalo kubera nange Piona Now lift up your voice and worship him in other words Matala brada do satalala Shikala de brada ho sitalala Le kasi ele brada di bare bo satarara Mala kasi ele brada di de Shedere ya darare ya darare Awo holi Awo holi Yonabi funda maya imusa your voice and speak to God. Even you that are watching online, lift up your voice and speak to God. Lift up your voice and worship God. Hallelujah, my God. 
we worship you, El Shaddai. The great God, we worship you. The ancient of days, we worship you. The great I am, we worship you. Elohim, we worship you. Worship God in your hearts. Worship God in your hearts. Worship God in your hearts. Shata lele boss. If you have a tongue speaking tongues, something is falling in this house. If you have a tongue speaking tongues, la ba da la ba 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 dos. If you don't have a tongue, just raise up your hands. The tongues of the Holy Ghost are filling you now. La 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 dos la pa ya la ba de. Prado si ta la dos sa ta la ba ya la ba. Lift up your voice and talk to God. Lift up your voice and talk to God. Something must fall on your life today. Shata la do, shata la ba ya la ba. Mata la do, shita la gata la ba ya. Manda le do, shake it, pele le le bo. Robo bo 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 he is a good God. We worship you. We worship El Shaddai. El Shaddai. We worship you, El Shaddai. Lift up your hands and we pray. Father, we thank you for the people that are tuning in and the people that are in this place right now. We thank you that your anointing and your manifestation is going to be so strong today. No sickness, no power, no, no tribulation. My God, no anything that is known of you shall remain in the inside of us. It is only your light to dwell in us, my God. Lada sata lepaya. Clap for Jesus. Thank you very much. Oh God, have a seat in the house of the Lord. Make yourself comfortable. Welcome your friend to Touch 022. Such a small number. 20. It's a small number, but big in the spirit. I would love to recognize the men of God in our midst, all the pastoral team of Torch members, Torch Fellowship. We are humbly honoring the anointing upon your lives and the different men of God in your capacities, apostles, prophets, pastors, and teachers. I salute you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tell your friend today is wonderful. And tell your friend that today is powerful. And tell your friend you're not going back the same. Before I start, I want to first inform you this. I want you to tell your neighbor that be ready to unlearn. Tell your neighbor. And be ready to relearn. And be ready to learn. So today we are going to unlearn. After unlearning, we are going to relearn. After relearning, some of us are going to be learning. Hallelujah. There are things that we've always moved in as believers. I don't know if we are online. Praise the Lord. Are we on? By the grace of God. Hallelujah. I want to thank the Lord for the presence that is in this place, the presence of El Shaddai, the great I am. Today I'm going to start a topic that will take us through almost the rest of this year. Because it is a wide topic. That every man that will stand and minister here, even if it's not me, will be flowing in this. That I'm opening up. But for you to be able to understand this, you need one thing. To be extra attentive. To be extra attentive. Because I'm going to touch a delicate part. 
And the topic is called God. Who is God? Where does God come from? How does he even exist in Genesis? Where was he before Genesis? You all have those questions. And they are the questions that I want Torch to answer this year. So that by the time we walk a journey together, we are all well. We know who we have believed. I can call out some of you here. And I ask you if you're born again. How many of you here are born again? How many of you are here are born again? Just raise up your hand tight and you received life. You accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Those that, are not, those that have not yet accepted Christ, you can sit. Your time will come. Hallelujah. All those accepted Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Lady, please come. Come, come, come. Peter, come. And uh, gentleman, come. Then the gentleman in black, come. Come. Yes. Hallelujah. I've, I've just sampled out these men for the goodness of the topic. The rest you can sit. For the goodness of the topic that we are going to share. Hallelujah. Hold for me this microphone. Are you born again? Yes. What do you believe? Who is Jesus? The Son of God and your Savior. The Son of God and your Savior. The general answer. That is what Peter answered. You're copying Peter's answer. That is what Peter calls him. Who, how do you call Jesus? How do you call Jesus? He's, you, you can use the microphone. My savior. Your savior. Jesus is your savior. Hallelujah. Jesus is your savior. And you? Same. You? Father to you. He's a father to you. That is Jesus. He's a father to you. You may take your seats. Can I mark? Can I mark? And I correct? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't want to start from Genesis today. Because I want to first confuse you. Then I unconfuse you. The way you are moving in your life. Hallelujah. Let us run to First John chapter 1. We are going to read from verse 4. Are we there? First John chapter 1. He says, And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declared unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Can I repeat? Let me repeat the fifth verse. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you that God is light, comma, and in him is no darkness at all. Verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Praise the Lord. Next verse says, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. The whole of the past three torches we've had ever since we opened up. The first one, I remember talking about the power that we have in Christ. Hallelujah. The power that is beyond words. And then um, the next touch, I remember talking about redemption one. Last touch, I spoke about redemption two. That means I, I, I no longer talk with sinners. I'm talking with men that don't have any darkness in them. That means that verse six does not apply to every person that is in this place who is born again. Those that have not yet believed, it might apply to you. But those that are believed, we shall look at verse 7. Now, for verse 4 and verse 5, le let me go to verse 5 and underline, for God is light. Praise the Lord. God is light. And in him there is no... I want you to underline that. 
The Bible says in the beginning, I'm now at Genesis. In the beginning, God, the Spirit of the Lord, as the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the waters. Praise the Lord. God had to create light. Because the world was filled with darkness. It was void. It was disorganized. But here comes the Spirit of the Lord. And he creates light. Actually, he does not even create, but he introduces light. And then the Bible tells us that he called for light out of darkness. Which means that light existed, but it was covered in darkness. But he calls out this light. And this light dominates. That means this light was inside, but it was dimmed. It is possible for darkness and light to be in the same place. But it will take discernment for you to be able to understand whether light is outshining darkness or darkness is covering light. Because the Bible says he called for light out of darkness, which means darkness had the light inside. And the light is calling out. It is God. That means in the very beginning, what God did, he separated himself from darkness. That means God in the very beginning, before he created heaven and earth, he had darkness in him. And he had to separate it from him. That means he remained with only light. And when he created the light, and he started to be the light, he no longer introduced darkness to himself and they could no longer be in the same place. That means Christ separated himself from darkness. When the Bible says, let there be light, Jesus was introducing himself on the surface of the world. Because the Bible says the light of the world stepped down into darkness. And when light steps into darkness, it shines or it is dimmed. It is like a man who has faith and you stand in a surrounding of 30 men without faith. They will outlap you. They will. That's why when Jesus enters somewhere to resurrect a certain girl, he chases all of them out. Because they had unbelief. They had darkness in them. And darkness could not dwell where light is. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Am I confusing? Are we now on the same level? I'm going deeper here. Now, we had a discussion that made me introduce this topic. With Pastor David, even some other people, even Brian, Pastor Elijah, I think even with Apostle Cyrus. And we came to a conclusion that 90% of the ministries and the churches all over the world, they are preaching the devil. I've said today, I want to deal on something that I'm introducing God. The topic is God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm preaching God in his fullness. I don't think even this time will be enough. Maybe we shall start from there next Tuesday. Praise the Lord. God is light. That's what John says. John is the man in the New Testament who has the greatest revelation about God. Actually, if you want to understand God like never before, read the books of John. The books of John. Praise the Lord. So, God is light. But the churches have introduced the devil instead of God. This is a generation where we have services that kill people. This is a generation where we have services that de-appoint men. You go in a service... And it is entitled, my enemy must lose his job. You go to a service, my enemy must die. 
you go to a service. I am uprooting any ministry that is above mine. Mine is growing. Praise the Lord. Uproot and, they, they call it, there is a way they use, there is a language they use, is it? Uproot and plant. Something like that. It is what is in churches today. You know God. You know Brenda is a worshiper. And she has been lifted when she worships the spirit flows. Father, use me. That one without even, the one who comes to the pulpit without makeup. May I have, let Brenda fall. I uproot Brenda. I plant myself. I uproot Brenda. I plant myself. And it's a prayer of a believer. Father, whoever is bewitching me, they are dying tomorrow. Right now, if I'm to tell the church right now, then let us pray for the souls out there to get born again so that they can receive Christ. You see how people will be praying right now. But tell them we are destroying the enemy. The Bible says in the book of Psalms that it crushes the bones of my enemies. Praise the Lord. You pray in such psalms. The church right now can even turn mad. If I'm telling you that whoever has an enemy today, they are dying right now. You will see men rising up. Actually, they will even start sowing seed. You see them bringing money. My God, that is my point. Praise the Lord. But have you ever asked your soul, who is God? Does God react? Does God react? Let me tell you one thing. God does not react. God does not react. He moved. The day he introduced light, the day Christ came and fulfilled the scripture of let there be light. Open the book of Genesis. Chapter 1. Verse 3. It says, and God said, let there be light. And there was, but the scripture was not fulfilled. There and then. That scripture was not yet fulfilled. It was not. That light that came out was not the light that God wanted to shine. Go to John chapter 1 verse 4. Let us run there very fast. John 1, 4. I'm going a little bit deep. If you're not attentive, Hallelujah. What does John 1, 4 say? It says, and the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Remember, before the light shines in darkness, the Bible says, in him was life. That means he created that life, and it remained content in him. He did not release it out to men. Because remember, in the very beginning, the tree is there. Praise the Lord. The tree of life was there in the Garden of Eden. Next to the tree of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But they left the tree of life. That means if they had eaten of it, Christ would have come for us to have life. Because we had already tapped in it. So this life stayed content in God. That it was only God and only those that accessed the trueness of God. They were the only ones that were able to access that life. Praise the Lord. So in simple terms, Genesis was prophetic. Praise the Lord. I always tell men that read your Bible. Actually, they used to tell us, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. You know that song? Yeah, if you want to grow. Let me tell you, when you read your Bible, these things are not mysteries to you. In Genesis, we were all taught in our Bible schools that man was created during creation in the sixth days of creation. But if you are to read your Bible, man was created post-creation. After everything was created and even after God resting, the following day after his rest, it's when he creates man. The other first one we see, and God created man, it was prophetic to what happened in the book of Genesis chapter 2. 
So he first prophesies these things. That means he first creates them in the spirit realm and then later brings them to manifestation. The Bible says he's a God of order. The things of God are for order. He does not just wake up in the morning and tell it they'll be like, Avera ya chikola koda. Christ is coming even before the fall of man. Because God knew that they were to eat, so he had to prepare a salvation plan to bring them back to himself. So before even he created man, he knew man would disobey the law. And he had to bring his son to reconcile him with him. Is somebody getting me? Are you getting me? So we go to the light that shined in darkness. All that shine, actually it is continuous. It shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. That means when he said, let there be light, darkness did not understand that light had come. Hallelujah. What watch the get day? What watch the get day? When light was created, which is the word of God, light is the word of God, and the word of God is God, and God is Christ. Hallelujah. So these things were created. I always tell Muslims that why is it in your book that begins, actually even the Judeans, the Torah, the books of Moses, they always see this thing of let us create man. In our image, after our likeliness. I can't say that when I'm with Kajuri. I can't say it when I'm with Brenda. When I can't say it when I'm with, I'm with Elijah or anyone. I can't. That means if I say we make in our image after our likeliness, that means that we are one. We are not even twins, but we are one. So if you ask them, who was he referring to? Were they angels? Angels did not see God anywhere until Christ came. It is when they saw God. Period. I will prove that. Angels had never seen God. Until Christ came. When they saw Christ, it's when they saw God. So these things of Satan fought with God. So that they fought for leadership. Now, you know that scripture in Revelation, eh? it has been misinterpreted. How can I fight with this microphone? The cells that have put. If I made a car, how can a car that I've made control me? Is it possible? Making a pot. How can that clay that is in your pot play with you? Is it possible? Is it possible? How could that devil fight God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is light and in him there is no darkness. There is no even shadow of turning. Light does not have a shadow. It doesn't. Now, this is the meat for the day. In this world, there are three major heads that control everything that reigns in this world. There is God, number one. Number two, it is the devil. Number three, it is man. This three, if it is not God, it is the devil. If it is not the devil, it is. So we need to, if you understand the character of these three, you will understand God. What is the character of man? Understand it. What is the character of the devil? The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And what is the character of God? He is light and in him there is no darkness at all. John had to add the word no darkness at all. That means there is no single day God can ever have darkness in him. Any destruction, any pandemic, any sin you see. That is not of God. It is either man or the devil. Praise the Lord. Somebody actually, most religious beings and even some born again, so-called 
born again men and women of God. They stood up on their pulpits and their altars. And they disgusted us. Never to swaza. They ashamed us. You know God has brought COVID. They, they like this, this verse in Chronicle. For they will humble themselves. When my people humble themselves and confess their sins and they turn back to me, I will forgive them. Tell your friend he was referring to unbelievers. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Laugh at them. Hallelujah. God dealt with all our sins 2,000 years ago. High five your neighbor and tell them Twawana. Glory to God. This man, he made a decision to be light and light alone. How can a healer, how can I be a healer? And then I start imposing, did I heal you of HIV? Then I bring cancer to you. That is a double-sided God. And any double-sided God is the devil. Praise the Lord. Any double-sided God. The moment a man tells you, come we pray, your enemy at work is going to be uprooted. Master Talapaya. Turn and say, I serve a living God. God can raise both of us at the same time. You can get a promotion and I get one. Jobs are many. To the coming back of Christ, we still have 10,000 years, I think. Praise the Lord. Because if we still serve such an understanding, Christ can't come back. He can't. Jesus said it and he was sure. When you see wars, tribulation, you see all those things, the COVID, the earthquakes, he says, I will come soon. Know it that I am coming soon. Isn't it what the Bible says in Matthew 24? What does his father say? And the gospel of this kingdom shall be preached all nations for a witness. And then shall the end. That means the end cannot come before this gospel reaches the four corners of the world. So instead of men preaching the end times. Please preach Christ. Hallelujah. Preach Christ. Is somebody understanding me? Preach Christ. The Bible says he's light. When he gives, he doesn't take. And God does not react. The reason why I'm replaying that word, that God does not react, I'm sure. These things of give. And then God gives you. The Bible says he gives unconditionally. Underline that thing. He gives and. That means that whether you give your tithe, whether you give your offering or not, he still gives you. The reason why God gives you, not because you give tithe. No, you give tithe for men to give you. God does not react. You know yesterday, you, you were fornicating. Now, today you're going to find problems. Not Andika, not Kubidama Simu, not People are calling us day and night. We no longer even rest. Hallelujah. Hello? Apostle. I'm not okay. You know, yesterday I had a problem. But I think God is annoyed with me. Among 7 billion. Actually, we are now 8 billion people in the world. God to waste his time getting angry upon me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go to leave all the other. Yet there are even the sick that are waiting for him to touch them. Praise the Lord. There are those that the devil has tortured and they are waiting for him to touch them. And he waits for you. Yet your problem, he covered it 2,000 years, but you're just ignorant. The Bible says, My people get destroyed because they lack Masatalapa, your club for God. Today, someone is going to be deep. It is meat. Tell your neighbor, I am now going more deeper. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was. 
I told you of a story of a certain guy who called me. I think it was online, or I shared it with either the men of God. Some guy called me and told me I can't come to church. Because in church, I am on chain. But in my freedom and in my sin, I find their liberty. I wondered and I had to research why. I came to realize that this man had not understood God. He had not understood the word. Praise the Lord. A certain man wrote a letter a certain minister of God and told him that I don't want anything about God. And the man of God asked himself before he continued to read the letter and asked himself why? And then the letter said I'm tired of a double standard God. A God that will wake up in the morning and give you commandments that he cannot even himself fulfill. A God that is truly a pictorial of the devil himself. A God that feeds on blood and says, kill not. Yet for him he destroys. A God that wakes up in the morning and says, I have healed you. At the same time, he sends a pandemic. Let me even stop there. That letter was wrong. Ask me what happens. Please come in. Feel free. Ask me what happens to this man. He listens to the gospel of the man of God. He's called Pastor Abel from Nigeria. And then he listened to the gospel and it was, he was changed. Praise the Lord. He was, and he understood the true nature of God. And he understood that God is light. And is life. Praise Jesus. So, let me take you back to Moses. That is where most people refer our God as the devil. And a Dracula God. A God that feeds on blood. A Dracula feeds on blood. It is a vampire. It feeds on When you go to the book of Exodus, Deuteronomy, and Leviticus, those three books, they are the hardest books of the law to understand. Actually, the Torah, which are the first five books written by Moses, if you read them and you're immature, you can never understand God. God did not at any one time want to kill anyone in the plan of redeeming the children of Israel. Praise the Lord. He did not one time want to kill anyone. You will tell me what of the, the chariots of Pharaoh in the sea. You know, when Moses separated the sea, it was for Israelites. So, Pharaoh and his chariots, it is not God who wanted them to die from that water. They took themselves there. It was not even the devil. That's why I've told you, understand man, understand God, and the devil. So it was themselves that drove themselves to that death. The reason why Moses does not reach, one of the reasons, the reason why he does not reach the promised land, he had killed somebody. He had blood on his hands. The man he kills and buries in sand, he couldn't reach the land of God. All that shows how merciful God is. When the wrath of God was to kill men, he protected those he loved. Hallelujah. And even his enemies, he did not kill them because he told them, anyone that wanted to survive the angel of death should smear blood on his that means even the Egyptians if they had knowledge they would smear that blood the angel would not kill their firstborns 
Isn't the Lord good? Isn't the Lord wonderful? Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Look at Job. Actually, in that letter, the man spoke of Job and said, A God that combines with a devil and tempts a faithful man. Go to Job chapter 4. From verse 14. Let us read together. Fear came upon me. That is the devil. The devil. It's either fear or faith. Nothing like both. The moment you see fear in you, it is just confirm the presence of the spirit of the devil, not the spirit of God. He says, fear came upon me and trembling which made all my bones to shake. Then a spirit that can't be a spirit of God. If it was faith, it would be the spirit of God. But since it was fear, the Bible says he has given us a spirit which is not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of Do you read the Bible? Administrator, we need Bible classes. Hallelujah. We need Bible classes. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of? Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise for your people. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Then he said, then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. God, one thing I can tell you about God. How do you relate with your father? How? How do you relate with your father? Praise Jesus. How do you relate with your father? How? Are you free with your father? Over Mukambo. Chumlabo duka missing. Ama evazila. The way you relate with your earthly father is the very way you are meant to relate with God. Actually, beyond. Because for him, he's so free. That's why one day I'll teach about prayer very soon. Still under the topic of God. Most people pray wrong. Ask me how. You know, there is a time I need for prayer. To create every 8 p.m. That has become a religion. That has become a Talk to God every time. He doesn't want your 10 hour. No. He wants to be your breath. God wants to be with you every time. So as you're creating your personal altar, yes, it can be there. Special time. But still, even these other times, walk with God. You wake up in the morning. As you're in your bathroom, you speak to God. As you're walking, you know, God, I love you. My God, my God. Praise the Lord. Hey? God is not a scary monster there. This man loves us dangerously. And not that we loved him, but because he first loved us. And the reason why he first loved us because he knew. He knew. He knows all things. He knows all things. I'm now going on my closing remarks of today. If God is light. And if God is who you say he is. Number one. Why don't I have a job? 
Yet I pray. Number two. Why is it, yes, my enemies are prospering, but me, I'm failing? Number three. Why is it that it's always me to have problems? Number four. If God is who he says he is, why aren't my prayers answered? Because whatever God says he is, he's surely that. He answers your prayers even before you. That means all prayers are answered even before you pray. Praise the Lord. What am I trying to mean? The capacity of God to answer your prayer. There is nothing that like, please wait. Okay, I will answer that tomorrow. You know, I already see posts on Facebook and WhatsApp. God's answer is always, yes, wait, something better. Tell your neighbor, that's the devil. Tell your neighbor, that's the devil. That's not God. Because the Bible says all his promises in him are yes and. The Bible says for your sake he became poor that you might be. And that is a promise. That means in him it is yes and amen. That money must be there with you. But the reason why you don't have that money with you. It is because you did not believe the God he is. You did not believe that God he is. The reason why you have delay in God, there is no delay. The Bible says now faith. Faith is now. Faith is not tomorrow. Faith is not in the next minute. Faith acts now. Nothing like let me pray for you in the next two weeks. You should be healed. No, 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 no. It is now. Because we were healed even before the healing is manifested. By his stripes, we are healed. That is Isaiah. That was his thing. Actually, it was his revelation. He saw. He redeemed time. And he saw that by his stripes, we are healed. That means for them in the Old Testament, they are healed. Whenever they fall sick, they look at his stripes. But for us of the new dispensation, that means that those people that existed in the times of Christ... As he was being walloped, they are getting healed. Praise the Lord. And then in our time, the moment his stripes were hit on him, those years back, we were healed. No sickness has dominion over you. Poverty has no dominion over you. Shatalabadosa. When you believe the God of light, everything you carry has light because this God dwells in the inside of you. I want somebody from today enter a place and speak. Let them see the light you have. I want you to enter a certain place and let them see that light has entered. Because you are God. This is my conclusion. He dwells in the inside of you. His light. And the Bible says you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. This God is in the inside of you. How can you fail to dominate nations? Enter a place and rata la pa da la ba 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 kosa. And money enters your pockets. La do si ta la bra da la ba 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 ba. Cancer patients are dismissed. Ma sa ta la do se te le bra da le da do di ga da la. How can they be with a light? You know, there are marks that are placed on your life. Your marks for greatness. Your name carries light. When they mention your name in evil plans, they are dispatched. Whenever they mention your name in a shrine, it can catch fire. Your light. How can they bewitch you? He's not double-sided. He is who he says he is. 
all his promises. The Bible says he is faithful. Praise the Lord. C can, I, can I make you run mad a little bit? Can I make you run mad a little bit? One of his promises, he says, Whatsoever you ask in my name, whatever you ask, it is given unto you. Whatever you ask. Call for kite will land out there in the parking. It's possible. Let me conclude with this story. Me, I have seen God. You people, you come, you come here when everything is set. You don't know what we pass through. None of the church pastors works. We are all students. <laughs> but you can ask around. No one demands us. No one. <laughs> no Tuesday will ever come. It cannot even happen. For us to sit in this place when we have a loan with the administration. Thank you so much. By the way, before we understood God, you people, before you joined church, we suffered. And the Bible says you suffer for your what? Ignorance. You perish for your lack of knowledge. We would collect all the little money we had on ourselves. Ne to Kadinang and transport to Molina. That time was there. I'm telling you, people who are with us at Wankulu could shout for God. Hey. We as pastors, after the anointing flowing on people, other people have fallen on the street. They used to carry men from the streets, from that road, and they bring them in our meeting. After praying for all that and people have seen the power, we start carrying chairs. We carry speakers. <laughs> My God. Yeah. Hallelujah. We lack knowledge. But when we got the knowledge of God, when we got to know who God is, praise the Lord, when we got to know who God is, my dear, we can't fail. Can I repeat the verse that we've read? First John chapter 1, verse 5. It says, in God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. This thing of the will of God may be me. My time has not yet come. Who told you? Cause it to come. Cause it to come. Pull it out. You know, it is my destiny, maybe, to be poor. The Bible says, he makes all things to work together for good. What the devil brings to work for you, but he causes it to work for good. It is not his plan for you to be poor. It is the plan of the devil. But after the devil bringing that plan, he manufactures another plan for him to glorify himself. That is light. And darkness cannot lie where he is. Get to your feet. Get hold of your offering. Your seed. Hallelujah. Is in the Lord God. Have I taught well today? How many of you are blessed? How many of you, your lives have changed? How many of you have unlearned? And you have relearned? And you have understood that God is God? Next Tuesday, we are going to still launch deeper in God. How many are bringing friends to understand the true God? We want to spread this gospel. So that light is understood. Praise the Lord. Light should move. Our God is light. Let me give you another chemistry. The reason why Jesus says that many will come to me and they say we preached in your name. We cast out devils in your name. We healed the sick in your name. And Jesus says, I know you not. It is because they preached the devil without knowing. Not that Jesus says miracles are not there like how Muslims say. No. They are there. But who is performing them? Your enemy dies and you come in church and give a testimony. That is the devil answering your prayer. 
The Bible says we were yet enemies of God. But what did he do? He sent his son to reconcile us. He reconciles you with your enemy. He doesn't kill. Jesus doesn't destroy. Raise up your offering and your seed. Father, we love you. We, we know your light. And your light is shining above. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the generosity of your people. As they are giving in, expand them deeply. Those that don't have, your pockets are expanded. They are filled. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is somebody in this place. As you're giving in. I feel somebody in this place. Shatalapadusa. I, I just feel you. May, 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 if you know you're the one, come. I just feel you. You're somebody and you feel you want to come to the front. Come. Come running. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I just feel somebody. You're burning for something. Come. Hold that microphone. If you're the one, hold it. Masatalabadosa. Ledo sita ladosa. I feel it. I just feel a burning for somebody. Yes, God. Yes, God. My God. You're good. Yes. What are you burning for? God has loved you beyond any man. It is what is making you burn. Why did you come to the front? Because he has answered all your prayers. Glory to God. Glory to God. There is another that I'm feeling. There is someone I'm feeling. And when you come here, I want to hear a reason why you've come to the front. I'm feeling somebody. Come. Come. Shut ladles. Hold that microphone. Hold it. Why, why, why has God told you to come here? 